Hello everyone, my name is Richard and welcome again for this another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's topic, so I'm going to discuss about on uh, how to create solid and void geometry in Revit 2017. Okay, so basically uh, creating solid and void geometry in Revit will allows you to create a family actually that is what you do if you create a family you create a solid and void geometry so i'm going to discuss how to create this one okay so it's a basic thing okay we don't need uh, any exercise file so i'm going to create from a template revit uh, family template using the new option here okay so i just need to select this one Okay, and then I'm just going to use here uh, metric generic model, all right? Okay, so let us try to explore the tools that will allow us to create solid and void geometry in Revit 2017, okay? So after you create the, the family file, so you will notice from the create tab here, so you, uh, you can see here there's a forms. These are actually the tools that we are going to use to create our solid and void. Okay, so I'm going to discuss each of these uh, tools. First of all, extrusion. Okay, so according to the definition, it creates a 3D solid by extruding a 2D shape or creating a profile. Okay, so whenever you create the profile or the 2D shape of an extrusion, so make sure it's close, no intersection, no overlapping. Okay, so let's get started. So for this one, I'm not going to create any uh, exact uh, dimensions. So I'm just going to teach you how to uh, create the basic of 3D modeling in Revit. So first with extrusion. Alright, so a solid or void extrusion is the easiest form to create. So if you've been using Autodesk product for quite some time, you must be already uh, familiar with extrusion, right? So it is the easiest form to create. So you just need to sketch the 2D profile of the form on a work plane and then extrude that uh, profile perpendicular to the plane on which you sketched it. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to select here the extrusion. Okay, so these are the tools that uh, we use to create solid. Alright, so I'm going to select extrusion. Okay, so after you select that, so you will notice you now on the modify create extrusion tab. So you will notice also that You'll be able to see here the shapes or the draw tools that you can use to shape up your extrusion. So you have the line here, rectangle, polygon, circle, arc, etc., etc. Okay, just remember after you activate the extrusion, the extrude tool, do not click to other tabs because if you try to click, let's say for example, you click the create tab, you'll notice that all of the tools here are or most of the 3D modeling tools, or all of the 3D modeling tools here are disabled, okay? Because sometimes if you are newbie in creation of the family or newbie in Revit, there are instances that unknowingly, after you select a certain tool, you accidentally select another tab, so which uh, confuses you because let's say you want to create extrusion, you will not be able to use extrusion or blend or revolve. Why? Because you have an active tool. Just remember, if you have an active tool, do not click on any different tabs, okay? So you, you've got to make sure that you finish first your extrusion before you go to another command, okay? All right, so here now on the modify create extrusion, so I'll just create a very simple one. So I'll just create here a rectangle. So I'm going to select the rectangle. So I click this one, okay? And then after that, I'm going to sketch it. So I'm going to pick two points. One, two. That's all. Okay? So just make sure after you create your sketch, it is close, no intersection, no, ver uh, no overlapping. What do I mean is, 
make sure this is closed okay because if this is not closed like this for example you did not notice so if you select finish edit mode so the Revit will tell you that you need to close it first before you finish the command okay so I'm going to trim that and another thing that you need to take note whenever you create the sketch okay there shouldn't be any intersection like for example again you did not notice there's a small line there so once you finish again cannot because there's an intersection all right so you need to delete that one it should be closed no intersection and no overlapping so let's say again unknowingly there is a line there and then you did not read the warning indicating that there is an overlapping so you will notice <coughs> excuse you will notice if you check that all right so there is no uh, cannot have overlapping lines okay so that's the things that you need to take note so whenever you create the sketch so make sure it's closed no overlapping and then no intersection okay all right so after that the next thing that you can do after you create the sketch so you can now uh, finish that or you can go ahead to the properties and then change the extrusion end and this uh, extrusion start okay so let me just go ahead and finish this model and then let me just change and play around with the extrusion end and extrusion start. Okay, so I'll just check this one. Finish. All right. So it's finished. So if I go to the 3D view, it is now my model. Okay. Of course, you can still click that and then you can resize. All right. So, okay. So I'm going to select the model. Let's say I want 500. Oops. 500. There you go. So extrusion start. So let's say 100. See from the bottom. So that's the extrusion. So 100. So if I put a negative value, it will go down. Right? Okay. So usually I just make the extrusion start to zero. Okay. So that's how you use the ex the extrusion. So it's very simple. So you just need to uh, create a boundary or profile close no intersection no overlapping and in case you want to change the profile or the shape of your your extrusion so you just need to select it you can select it in the floor plan or 3d view or elevation okay in this case I'm selecting my model in the 3d view and then you can see here also or you can see here the edit extrusion if you want to modify the sketch so if I click this one there you go. So it will go back to the sketch mode. So I'm going to change back again my view to reference plane. So let's say, uh, oh, okay, I don't want this line. I'm going to delete that. So let's say I want a line from here to here. Okay. The modify, you do not want this line here. So I'm going to trim that. One, two. All right. And then I check. There you go. So you just... Uh, modify the extruded model okay next all right so after extrusion we have a blend here okay blend so you create a blend create a solid 3d shape that changes along its length blending from the starting shape to an ending shape all right so you need to create the starting and then the ending shape Okay, you see the definition. It creates a 3D solid uh, shape that changes along its length, blending from a starting shape to an uh, to an ending shape. All right, so let me just go ahead and create the blend here. So I select the blend. Okay, so you will notice again. I'm I'm here on our contextual tab so it says modify create blend base boundary so what i'm going to do is the base boundary so let's say i want again rectangle just a simple model so you can easily follow okay so i'll just go ahead create any size of rectangle so this is now the base and then after that 
I'm going to select this edit top to create the top boundary. Alright, so I'm going to select this. So you will now notice it says uh, create blend top boundary. Alright, so I'm now going to create another one. So I'll just create another rectangle. Or you can also use the peak lines tool. Okay, so I select peak lines. You just need to specify the offset distance here. So let's say uh, 100. Okay, so I pick here. I pick here. I pick here. I pick here. Alright, and then I select modify. Again, going to the properties, you can modify the extrusion height of your uh, second end. Okay, so by default, it's 250. Anyway, I'm going to finish now. Okay, you just need to explore it yourself. You can modify the vertices. You can modify the base again. Okay, you just explore it. Alright, so I select finish edit mode. There you go. So if I check out the 3D view, so this is now how it looks like. Okay. So I click this one. I'll try to change the extrusion, uh, the second end. So let's say 500. There you go. So that's your blend. Okay. Again, make sure every time you create the boundary, it should be close, no intersection, no overlapping. All right. So going back to my reference level. Okay. I'll just pan here. What's next? Revolve. Okay. Revolve. So. I What's the definition? So revolve here. Okay. So it creates a 3D shape by sweeping a 2D profile all, uh, around an axis. So you need again to create the profile and then you create the axis. Okay. As you can see, there is the video. All right. Okay. So let me just go ahead and show you this one. Okay, so for this one, I'll, I'll try to create the 3D model in my elevation view. So let's say I'll go to the front view. Okay. So right click, zoom to fit. Okay. So I'll just click the reference level. I'll just adjust this one. Okay, so I'll, I'll create my uh, revolve here. Okay, so it creates a 3D shape by sweeping a 2D profile around an axis. So I click this one. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do, boundary line. Okay, so I need to create the boundary line. Okay, or the sketch. Or you can also create first the axis line. Okay, the axis of revolution. So let's say I'll create first the axis line. So I click the axis line using the line command. So I'll just draw my axis. So that's the axis. And then this time, I'm going to select now the boundary line. Okay? Doesn't matter how long is your axis. Okay, so for the boundary line, so let's say I'll click the line tool. This is my sketch. So let's say from here. Okay, something like this, something like this, like this. Okay. Pick from here, here, this one, and then just make sure you close it. Okay, it's okay even if your uh, boundary line, uh, I mean the yeah the boundary line or your sketch, and your axis line is overlapping, so it's alright. Okay, just make sure your boundary line or your sketch is not overlapping. Okay, because it will give you an error. But for the axis line and then the boundary line, it's okay. Alright. So I select here, finish edit mode. There you go. Okay. If I check out the 3D view, so this is how it looks like. Okay. All right. Okay. So again, if you want to modify the sketch or the profile of your 3D model, just like what we did here on our extrusion, let's say you want to change this one. You want to change, let's say you want to change the distance of your axis to the profile or you want to modify the profile so just like the extrusion you just need to select that edit revolve okay just click that one and then you, you will be going back again to the sketch mode all right okay so let me just go ahead and select again the front view so let's say i want to adjust this one i'll just drag it oh let me just select and move this one okay i'll just move from here to here all right so what will happen is it will create a hole here, okay? 
will create a hole so this is the diameter okay so I'll just finish or oh, let's say I want to modify also the model okay so I'll just trim that I'll just modify my uh, profile all right so check there you go so going back to the 3d view so this is how it looks like okay all right so that's my uh, revolve next all right so reference level so what's next sweep okay so sweep so what's the definition of the sweep here it creates a 3d shape by sweeping a 2d profile along a path Okay, so we need to create again the profile, and then this time, we're going to create the path. Okay, so just to give you a tip, usually I use, in Revit MEP, I use the sweep if I want to create an elbow. Okay, if I want to create an elbow, so I can create, I can use a solid sweep. Okay, anyway, so let me go ahead and try it. So what I'm going to do, again, I'll try to create in different views. So instead of the floor plans, I'll try to create again on the front view. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and create here. So let me just adjust the reference level. Okay, so I'll select now the sweep here. So I click, I click the sweep, solid sweep. So you need to create the profile and then the path. Okay, so I select the solid sweep. Okay, so it's what I'm going to select here is, is sketch a path. So instead of picking an edge to create the path, just like that image, so I'm going to sketch it. I'll just sketch it. So I click this one. So let's say I'll use uh, center and arc. Okay, so I select this one. Okay, so say this is the center. Okay, this is the end, and then this is the arc. There you go. Then modify. Okay, so it's an arc. So this one, in front view, it looks like a line, right? But actually, this is a reference plane. So if I try to check out the 3D view, so you see, uh, I'll try to orbit. It's actually a reference plane, which is... Uh, this is what you are going. This is where you are going to create the profile on the work plane. Okay, so if I go to the front again, I'll just uh, reposition my work plane. So you can drag this one, so I can put it here. Okay, if you if you want to create the sketch in this position, it's okay. But actually, it's much easier if you're going to move the work plane here. You can drag that. Okay, let me just. You can drag it here in the 3D view, but I'll just go ahead to the front view and then this one, I'll just drag and then here. There you go. So there's my work plane. So in 3D view, it looks like this, right? By the way, you can also specify the name of your reference plane. If you click that, uh, oh, for this one, no, because I didn't create it manually. Anyway, uh... So going back to the front view, so this is how it looks like. So there's the reference plane. Now, so after you create this, the uh, after you create the path, so I'm now going to select finish edit mode. So I click this one. There you go. So this time I'm now going to create the profile. So I'm going to select edit profile. Okay. Now you will be able to see this dialog box. The reason why you are seeing this, it it uh, the Revit tells you to change your view. Okay, instead of creating the profile in this view, which you cannot do, because as you can see the work plane here is not correct, right? Actually, it's correct. It's just you are on the wrong view. Okay, you need to go to different view like floor plan like reflected ceiling plan or 3d view okay so let's say i'm gonna change my view to uh, floor plan okay i'll just select this so that is where am i going to draw the profile so i select the open view so it will open the floor plan and then this is now the reference plane 
or you can also do that in 3D view, okay? Because this is your work plane, okay? You cannot draw here on the front view because it's just like this. It's either you draw on the floor plan or you go to your 3D view so you can orbit and then after that you draw the work, uh, the profile here, okay? Anyway, I'll just draw it on the floor plan. Okay, then let's say I'll just want to, I just want to create a circle. So I click the circle. I click this one. Then I'll just draw a circle. Okay, then let me see that in 3D view. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so after that, I'm now going to select check to finish creating the profile. All right, then I'm going to finish creating the model. There you go. So there's your sweep. Okay, again, if you want to modify your, your sweep, you just click that, then just edit. It's either you edit the, the path, or you can also edit the profile. Select the profile, edit the profile, okay? Then you can delete this, and then you can create another shape of your profile. So Okay, so that's it. Anyway, I'm not going to change that. Okay, then modify. Okay, so this is now my model. Okay, so I have the extrude, blend, revolve, and sweep. Okay, the last tool that we can use to create our solid model is solid swept blend. It creates a blend that sweeps along a defined path. Actually, this command is a combination of sweep and blend. Okay? You need to create the path, and then after that, you need to create two profile. And then these two profile will go along the path, just like what you just saw on the animation. I'm going to show you again. So this one. Okay? So you see? So that's the path, and then you create two profile, and then it sweeps. Okay? Right, so let's go ahead and start. So, so maybe I'll try to create it here also on the front view. So I select the swept blend. Okay, again I'm going to create the path, sketch path. Okay, I'll just create another arc. Mm, okay, so center ends arc. One, two, okay, this one. The modify. Okay. As you can see, I have here two reference plane, right? This one and then this one. Okay, if you go to the 3D view, there's your two reference planes. So this is where you are going to draw your two profile. Okay, so let me just go ahead and try to create it here in the 3D view. Okay, so after I create the path, I just need to finish that. Okay, and then this time... You will notice if I click select profile 1, this one becomes red. If I click select profile 2, this one becomes red. So it's just an indication where is your profile 1, where are you going to draw your profile 1, and where are you going to draw your profile 2. Okay? So let's say you want to create first the profile 2, so you just select profile 2 and then edit profile. So this time around, I'm creating it in 3D view, so it's okay. So I'll uh, select Edit Profile, so I select uh, select Profile 2, Edit Profile. So I'll just create a circle, so just like this. So that's my first profile, and then I just need to finish creating that profile. And then this time, I select uh, Profile 1, Edit Profile. So let's say uh, another, uh, okay, let's say uh, polygon. Okay, so I click from here to here. That's it. Okay. So after I create the two profile, so I just need to finish and then check again to finish the 3D modeling. There you go. Okay. All right. So basically, this is how you use your extrusion, blend, solid revolve, solid sweep, solid swap blend. 
So these are the tools that we can use to create our family, to create a 3D model. <clears throat> Earlier, the start of this video, I said that I'm going to show also the void forms, but I think it's already the, the, the time that I have spent in this uh, exercise is quite long. So maybe I'm going to finish this first, and then I'm going to create another video for our void forms. All right. So once again, if you have any questions, if you have any comments or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And you can also, again, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, and you can also like the, the video that I just created. Okay, so once again, this is Rich from Learning with Rich. Have a nice day.